Hey everyone, so this is part 2 of our discussion about mail merge and our goal for today is having to create individual file, document file or PDF file with customized file names. So we will be needing the use of macros. Macros are scripts or codes developed to be able to perform certain sequences of commands. So I'd like to thank Simnost for having to provide commands necessary to execute and, and achieve our objective that is the creation of individual file with customized file name so as you could recall from our last meetings discussion in mail merge you have to have two files your source file which is a document file or your template which is a document file and your source file which is a spreadsheet this time for our spreadsheet as you could see here, there are four added columns named folder, doc folder path, doc file name, PDF folder path, and PDF file name. Their headers should be named as such, meaning to say that you have to observe proper capitalization for the macros to find them when the commands are run by Microsoft Word. So again, the capitalization as to how doc folder path, doc file name, PDF folder path, and PDF file name are typed should be observed. So let's start now. So let's put in so the doc folder path, meaning to say it is the location where the document file for our output can be Found. So I added here two folders named doc file and PDF file. This will be the location where the individual document file can will be found after having to run mail merge. And I have here the PDF file folder where the PDF generated files will be saved. So to get the path for the doc file, so I just have to open the doc file folder, click on the address bar here, and then this address should be copied, and I have to paste this here in Excel. And I just have to copy all this document location. And then I have my document file name. So this is basically just your choice if you want the document file name to be just the name of each individual student so you just you could simply just come up with the formula here equal sign and link that to the name of the student or if you want to further customize it say you want to have certificate of enrollment dash now I have here ampersand and before placing the name of the student. So that will be my file name for the document file that will be created. And then for the PDF folder path, similar to the document folder path, so I'll have to open PDF file folder, click its location, copy its address, go back to my source file and then paste the PDF folder path and then copy all this and then for the PDF file name I will have the same so that's equal sign certificate of enrollment dash and then I have my ampersand the name of the student and then I just have to copy this one 
and save this. So I could now close my source file, go back to my document file, and we will now be creating our macro. To create macro, you have to go to the developer tab. If the developer tab is not available, all you have to do is to make this one visible by having to right click at your ribbon and then choose customize ribbon and then to look for the developer option here you just have to check the developer option and click ok if the developer tab is not available so we're ready now to just copy paste our commands so you have your visual basic and you have your macros since we do not have the macro yet so we, we will be clicking visual basic and we have here our project for our project you have to click on normal so why are we choosing normal we are choosing normal because we want our macro to be available even though we're making use of a different document but if you will just be choosing a particular project meaning to say that the macro will only be available in that given project since we want it to be available whenever we open microsoft word whenever we do mail merging so we will choose normal we'll right click on normal click on insert and we have to add a new module so this is our new module now it's called module one and this is the code provided by simnos so i just have to copy all this and paste this in our given space so once we're done let's just save this and if you could actually see the name of our macro is mail merge to pdf basic so let's close this one i'll click on macros here i look for the macro name mail merge the pdf basic and click on run if in case you will encounter problem like this one meaning to say that the link between your source file and that of your template is not updated so we will just be ending this one and let's select the source file once again so going back to mailings we choose select recipients use existing list and go back to our source and then choose our source file our excel file and then once again it's just shit one click on ok and then we're ready to go so for you to be able to see how things are going so i'll just place all these windows together I have my template here at the right side. I will open the document file here, resize it so that you could see that the files are actually being created. And I will open another folder here for the PDF file or another window for the PDF file okay so let's go now to our macros again look for the mail merge to PDF basic and then click on run so after clicking on run, you'll be able to see that your individual document files are now created. So there you go for the individual document file. The same as the individual PDF file. So that's how you basically create a customized file name for individual document file and or PDF file making use of a macro. 
So, thank you once again to Simnos for their codes. If you want to have access to the codes uh, to be able to do the same, you could simply email or send an email to my email that will have an auto response to get the code for the mail merge. So this is basically my email that's shawsomesensei at gmail.com.